Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to talk to you about studying Italian and Italian is my third foreign language. My native language is Russian, my second language is English, my third language is German and Italian is my fourth language that I'm sort of able to speak. I'm in Italy right now in a very beautiful part of Italy near Como and yes, if you're interested in studying Italian and studying foreign languages, please continue watching this video. The first thing that I wanted to tell you, and I keep telling it everyone who studies languages, you need to have a goal. Like, create it for yourself. Some goals work better. So, for example, if you're looking to study in the United States and you need English, yes, this is an amazing goal and you're gonna put all of your efforts into studying English. For German, I had a great motivation because my university had an exchange program with uh, Technical University of Dresden and my professor told me if you're a German is C1 then we're gonna send you there and we're gonna give you a scholarship so I studied like crazy for Italian I didn't really have this motivation um, but I had a childhood dream so when I was 10 years old um, in Russia we have yards where children from the house just go and play with each other so I had friends from uh, they're half Italian, half Russian. Their mom is uh, Russian, their father was Italian. And they used to talk to each other in Italian. They were really pretty girls, twins. And I would look at them and listen to their Italian language and I would be like, oh my God, I want to speak like them. This is so, so beautiful. I was super inspired by their Italian. And when I was 10 years old, I promised to myself, Marina, someday you're going to study Italian. I didn't know why, I didn't know what for, but I just wanted that. So when I came to Germany in 2010, we had a choice of foreign languages that we could study that would be included into our curriculum, such as English. Uh, I chose German because I needed to improve it and I chose Italian. So the first time I started to learn Italian was to learn Italian in German. We had a teacher from Italy, but she talked to us in German. And this was my foundation in Italian. I started it for three months and then I went back to Russia and had so many things I had to do. So I stopped learning Italian. Then I attended some classes in Russia. I even had an 80 speaker from Italian and we took a couple of classes but again because I didn't have a real motivation behind Italian uh, behind learning the Italian language I didn't really do it but here's the motivation yesterday I had my first class in Italian and this is how it was Well, the funniest thing that just happened. <laughs> yeah. So she was showing me my Airbnb and then we realized I actually have a meeting with her tomorrow. You're the director of school or the yes, owner? Oh. Yes. Oh wow, she's the owner of the school. Going leader leaders more work. What? Like, yeah. Seriously. What? How can this happen? <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow on the, oh, during my class. During yeah. my Italian see class. you tomorrow. Yeah. Stay tuned. He can't oh. believe it, yeah? yeah. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I was a YouTuber. Ah, I'm a blogger. Yes, yes, yes. I have 125.000 followers. Bye! 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 Can you imagine that? Like, no words. So we booked this Airbnb in Como. And um, there was this guy who was renting it out and he said, I'm sorry, I wouldn't be able to meet you, but my sister is going to meet you. And we met with his sister. Um, she's showing me the way to the apartment and ask her, what do you do here in Como? And she says, I run a language school. I'm like, are you serious? Uh, because I have an appointment at a language school tomorrow. I'm like, what is your language school name? She says, we're the only language school in Como, in lingua. And I'm like, is it even real? Like, can you imagine that? And she's showing me the apartment and she's the one who's gonna be teaching me Italian tomorrow. Like, the world is like this. And when I'm traveling here in Italy, there are so many subscribers who tell me, oh, Marina, I live in the same city. Oh, Marina, I live next to you. Do you want to come over? Like, the, the world is like that. Uh, and Marina? Grazie. Hai chiuso la porta d'ingresso. Ciao. Ciao. Just, just a standard view from your classroom. Io ho una firma a Lingua Tri, studio ad Estero. Perfetto. Mi sapresti dire come si arriva al lago? Uh, con la macchina? Mm? Sì? Uh, uh, qualche indicazione per arrivare al lago? Mi sapresti dire? 
come arrivare al lago? Ah, uh, the, the da qui. Um, vai uh, diritto. 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 Uh, eh. Ok, per sì. te <ride> minuti. Perfetto, brava, brava, brava. Salute! <ride> So my current level of Italian, I would say it's pretty intermediate. Ciao ragazzi, buongiorno da Italia. Io sono a... <laughs> Io sono a... But an amazing, amazing thing I've noticed during the Italian class and being in Italy. Ciao ragazzi, io sono in Italia, uh, nel... Um, Garda. Questo è piscina. <laughs> This is all my Italian, no. My Italian is pretty intermediate. So our brain has so much information in it, we cannot re really imagine. So we, you know, learn languages, we read papers, we do things, and everything is there. Danger. Well, they're not getting my map. We just came to San Pellegrino, and today is the day of the spa. Caffredo. I've lived here for the rest of my life. When you guys want to order latte in Italian, you have to say latte macchiato. Because initially I asked him for latte and he gave me the whole glass of hot milk. Remember. Can you imagine that this big hotel went bankrupt in San Pellegrino? They're actually trying to rebuild it, but because they built it before the First World War, uh, it went bankrupt and now it's just standing here empty and such beautiful building. The problem is um, at a certain amount, uh, period of time, our brain doesn't really have access to that information. But if you're in a diffused mode, like when you're relaxed, when you're just walking around Italy, your brain suddenly has access to all of the information. Like I notice when I walk in the street and I have to say something in Italian, somehow this knowledge just comes to my mind. And it's all like, it's not that mode when you have to like stop and think, what was this word in Italian? What was that? It doesn't work that way. It just works in a relaxed way. And I notice the same for my German. Like when I'm relaxed, I speak Like I'm a native speaker, when I have to think about every single word, it doesn't really work. Let me know guys if you've ever noticed something like I have noticed, but when I dream, and I sometimes dream in foreign languages, like in German and Italian, I realize that the structures that I'm using in my dream, like I, I wake up and analyze what happened, and I realized I used really complex grammatical structures. And I was using structures that I haven't really used when I was speaking a foreign language in real life. And this is diffused mode in action. This is when our brain just relaxes and it tries to pull like all of the knowledge that we have in our brain, tries to pull it outside. And this is what happens when you're in the country. When you're in the environment, you're like relaxed because why? You're shopping for Parm ham, you're shopping for Italian shoes, you're relaxed and suddenly words come to your mind. And this is so, so, so exciting. Io ho un vlog a YouTube. Tu capisci YouTube? Yeah. Io ho un vlog con 100.000 so as you've heard I had a little conversation with the guy who drove the cart and I told him that I had a hundred thousand subscribers because uh, numbers flow away from my brain sometimes so I was meant to say you are 125 mille followers on YouTube <laughs> and I didn't know the word followers so I just substituted with the English one Dear Italians, come si dice followers on YouTube? In Italiano uh, Tell me how you say followers in Italian And another thing that I've noticed yesterday on a class, during the Italian class is that my brain started working like crazy and it's a different kind of work so when you um, learn new language I wouldn't say it's like business set because when I'm 
thinking about business is a completely different mindset. I, I would compare it to mathematics. When you're learning structures, when you're trying to fit them in whatever is in your mind, and yesterday I promised to myself that I'm gonna be learning languages uh, till I'm like 100 years old. This is an amazing thing what happens to our brain. And I have uh, some my, I think he's a really, really distant granddad. He's a professor at a university and he's a physics professor. He's like 80 something or 75 plus something. Um, and because he works every day, he does his research. He's flying to Australia like every two months. Uh, he does sport, he swims in the ocean because his brain is still active. And this is what I'm trying to achieve uh, by learning foreign languages, keeping my brain active till I'm like 100 years old. This is my goal. And uh, yes, this is my goal for learning Italian. And I would really like advise you guys to start learning a foreign language because this thing is the most powerful thing in the world. And you, you wanna keep it active. You wanna keep it, you wanna keep it working for as long as you can. guys if you want to travel to Italy if you want to go to my school uh, you know where to go linguatrip.com is my business and this is a platform where you can book language courses all over the world cheaper than booking directly with school and we're gonna help you with everything I would be super super excited if you could use this platform and travel to Italy to learn Italian please share also what other methods you're using for learning Italian yesterday I asked my teacher what kind of films can I watch with my free intermediate Italian she said maybe forget about films for now uh, watch some Disney movies uh, translated into Italian and this is what my teacher said when you are um, watching something in a foreign language please make sure that you have uh, subtitles for example if it's Italian have subtitles in Italian my problem right now is that I do not really use the grammatical structure structures that I have to so I know a lot of words and I just try to mix them in a weird way but what I have to do is to use Italian grammatical structures. And she said, when you will be watching these films, you will be looking at subtitles which are written in the right way with the right grammatical structures and you will be just, you know, memorizing them, memorizing and then they will just come out whenever you will need them. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave a link below to the film that I'm watching right now in Italian. It's an amazing one. I think it won Oscars maybe but it's a really good one uh, so I would encourage you to watch it like twice and try to watch it in Italian let me know what other methods you use to study Italian and I hope you guys enjoy this vlog uh, please like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe to this channel because I talk a lot about studying different languages and traveling abroad and I hope to see you soon in the next videos bye bye